Well, car inspections in Vermont are getting stricter when it comes to your car's emission system. And if you leave that check engine light on for too long, your car might end up failing. Uh -oh, local 22 Spencer Conlin has more on what you need to know before your next inspection. Vermont is ramping up its enforcement for car inspections. In order to pass, drivers must repair any issues with their vehicle's emission system. The problem is it is so expensive to get these repaired that people can't pay for the regular maintenance, let alone the check engine lights itself, because some of these repairs could be over $1,000. As of 2017, the state has passed cars with such issues on a conditional basis, but as of this week, the grace period is over. It's important uh, for highway safety as well as um, clean air that we uh, continue um, to have an inspection program. But for mechanics like Albert Karen at Waterbury, he says the issues found by a computer can be wide ranging and may not even be an emissions problem. If the AC compressor doesn't work and the check engine light is on, why is it fair that we have to fail it for inspection? That doesn't make sense to me. The newly enforced rules have sparked concern under the Golden Dome. I think we're putting a lot of burden on the inspection stations. I think we're also putting more burden on Vermonters who at least can afford it. Senator Dick Mazza, chairman of the Senate Committee on Transportation, says it's looking into a potential workaround, like a subsidy program. I don't know if that's the answer, but I would rather just separate that issue and not claim it as a safety issue. Meanwhile, there will be a waiver available to drivers who need more than $200 in repairs that are not covered under warranty. Experts say the best way to avoid a surprise at the shop is to bring your car in early. If you've got a check engine light on, the thing you need to do is take it to whoever works on your vehicle, see if they can diagnose the codes, find out what they are, and see if you can figure it out. And hopefully they can do it within a timely manner so it doesn't cost a lot of money. Spencer Connell, Local 22 News, Montpelier. Mechanics also remind drivers that if your battery has been disconnected, your car may have to be driven several miles before it can be inspected. Yeah, and if you want more information about the inspection program and how it's just changed, you can head to our website, mychamplainvalley.com.